Hi guys, welcome to GuitarAudio.com. This is John Doyle, and we're going to do a quick tutorial and introduction to Live Plasma. If you've not used Live Plasma before, it's a fantastic music search engine. Don't get me wrong, Google and Yahoo are good search engines, but this is just a little bit different. So, we're going to find it on the Free Stuff page, so we click on that, and then we're going to scroll right down to the bottom, which is where Live Plasma is with all the orbs. So we click on that, and that'll take us to Live Plasma's page. So let's just say that you've got a band and you want to find similar music or connected artists. Um, we can start with someone really obvious like Guns and Roses. Let's see what we get. Okay, so it then gives us this little orb of different or similar bands linked by band members, by taste, by sound. Um, by all those kind of things. So you've got Guns N' Roses, you've got Iron Maiden, Def Leppard, Case Bon Jovi, Cheap Trick. Now there's some of these bands that you may or may not have heard of um, and you can basically just click on any one of these places and zoom to them. That's the idea. We clicked on Guns N' Roses, it, it, it sort of loaded their map. We could also then say, right, let's have a look at Motley Crue. So you click on Motley Crue, and it'll rearrange the map and load in their map. It'll show you connected members, different people, um, other bands, again, that you may not have heard of. Uh, so you can use it for that. You can also put individuals in. So let's just say we were looking for cool guitar players. We might type in Steve Lukather. If I could type, that would be really handy, wouldn't it, at this point? So, there's Steve Lukather. And then we're going to see connected artists to Steve Lukather. That's going to load up his map. And you can see that looks a little bit different. So, this would then give us some other um, guitar players. Alan Holdsworth, for example. Robin Ford's up there. So, if you've not heard of any of these guys, you can just type them in. Um, and we could actually use this in conjunction with Spotify. Uh, so, if I get Spotify up, for example... That's going to log me into Spotify, and there it is. So, what were those guys called again? Let's have a look. So, we've got Robin Ford. So, we can then open up Spotify and we can type in Robin Ford. See what we've got there? We click on the artist button, that's going to give us an overview, and we can have a bit of a, a slide down and then say, Oh, that's cool. So, you know, we could have a, a play of one of his tunes. That's pretty smooth. So we've got a bit of that going on. Now, then we could sort of, you know, carry on having a look in here and say, oh, right, okay, Hendrix, yeah, we've heard of him, Cream, Steve Lukather, Alan Holdsworth, Jonas, Walter Becker. You can see all, all these different guys. Who's that there? Is that Steve Morse? So there's Steve Morse. So then we could go back to Spotify and say, okay, let's check out Steve Morse. So we go up to the search. And there's Steve Morse. We click on the artist um, page or the artist link, and that's hopefully going to load him up. There he is. And then we scroll down, and we've got quite a few Steve Morse albums. So, using Spotify and Live Plasma together, you can find new music uh, that you may not have heard of, you can find um, new artists that you may not have heard of, and you can then build your own playlists and get some original stuff going on, and it's all free. Now, iTunes has got the Genius bar on there, which kind of uses, uh, suggests different music for you to listen to. And Spotify also has a similar artist's um, selection. If you scroll up to the top, it says similar artist Eric Johnson and Joe Satriani. And you can see that both of those guys were turning up on Live Plasma as well. Eric Johnson was there. Uh, I'm sure Joe Satriani, there he is, not far away at all. But... Spotify, uh, Live Plasma also gives you Jeff Beck, Alan Holdsworth, Bill Bruford. So you've got loads of other guys that you wouldn't just get from Spotify or from iTunes. So that's what I use Live Plasma for. I think it's a fantastic little search engine. Uh, you can also use it for actors and films. You can choose the different countries and languages. Loads of other different features on there. But just using it as a search engine, it gives you lots of cool things that you can look at. So have fun with that. Find some new music that you want to play. Uh, that's what it's all about. And... Uh, that's all from me. So you got any questions or any comments, leave a comment on the blog or send me an email at john at guitaraudio.com and I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.